Hey friends, welcome back to Automated Notion, where we put your Notion to work for you. I'm really excited about today's video. It is something that I have been working on for quite a while, and I kept trying it out. It didn't work, and then going back to it, and then finally, Eureka, I did it. Sending a list of tasks from Notion to my Gmail. One of the first things I do in the morning before I start working is to check my email and being able to see my task list in a nice orderly uh, document really helps me from getting distracted by an urgent email and then forgetting to check my task list for the day. So this does require some basic HTML, which I have provided templates for, so you can copy and paste for your own use. Let's start off with our project database. This is a self-relating database, meaning that we are relating items within the database to items within the same database. So how many times can I say database? So here, first off, we have our project here. And as you can see, if I scroll over, all the items below the project are assigned to it as tasks and all the tasks are assigned to the main project. Now I'm just going to change the due date on these so that they are today's date. So I have my Google Doc all set up with my HTML. And so this is just a basic table. Here we have our header, good morning, um, paragraph, here are your action items that are due today, and then our table set up. And down here, we, are have, we have what is intended to be our headers. Now, you might notice that I have these set up as uh, table data items rather than actual ta table headers. Originally, when I set this up with table headers, Gmail, for whatever reason, just did not pick them up as headers. So I had to work around that and just bold these items so that they look like headers. Our first scenario, we're going to have uh, two Notion modules and two Google Doc modules. Now we need to separate these scenarios because we first have to create the document where everything is stored. If I just go ahead and connect Gmail at the end of this, you're only gonna get one database item um, per email. So we're searching for database items. I've connected my project database here. As always, if this is your first time um, using Integral Mat, you can go up here to the online help link and it'll walk you through the steps of how to connect your Notion. And we have a couple of filters. We're going to filter for our due date, which is now. So I only wanted to pull the action items for that day. Our type does not equal project. So any meetings or anything that isn't labeled a project will show up in our email. And then I want the status to be uh, not complete. Then below, we have um, a sort field. So you have the option of sorting. Let's click over here so you see what this looks like. You have the option of sorting by the time step, stamp or by the property field. Here, I'm sorting by priority in the sending direction. And let's change this limit. Let's just change it to six. So the limit is going to be the number of results that are pulled through. So if you think you might have more than six items due in the day, um, I kind of don't recommend that. But <laughs> if you think you might have more than six items due in the day, you know, you can increase this, you can decrease it, but just basically, you know, take a guesstimate of how many items that you would normally have to in a given day. Now let's set up our schedule. Scheduling is actually a paid feature. You do not have this option on the free plan, but I have this set up scheduled to run every day at 6.45 a.m. And I want to show you how it handles the relation fields. Because we are within the same database, you won't get the information like the name of the date of that related field, but it will give you 
the ID. So that is why I have a get database item module here. So I, I am telling Integra Matt to um, search for that project ID so that I can pull the name of it and put it into my email. Now, I don't always assign projects um, to my tasks. Sometimes you might have just like a recurring task or one off that doesn't really apply to any project. In that case, in the event that there is no project ID, I wanted to go ahead and just use the task ID. So next we have our Google Docs list items and I've connected this to my drive. Again, you can click the online help and it'll show you how to connect it. If you have a business account, it's very simple connection. I've already decided that I'm keeping this document in a folder by itself. So I have my limit set to one. If you were storing this in a folder with multiple documents, just click this little wrench over here to set up a filter and you can filter it by name. And last, we have a Google Docs insert a paragraph document. So we are mapping the document ID from our list documents module. Now we're going to tell Integra Matt to append um, any of this text to the end of the body. And again, we are just basically continuing our table that we started in the daily task list document. So I have my table row with my data. My first prop property is the actual uh, database item name, so the name of my task. So, and as you can see, I have this set up so that it links back to the Notion page for that task. And then down here, we have the, uh, the name of our actual project. So you can see this is pulling from our Get a Database Item module. So the name of our project that this task is assigned to will show up at, on our email. And then next we have our priority, and then we have our status, and then we just close out that row. A link to the screenshots for this will be provided in the description. So let's go ahead and run this whole thing so I can show you what the document will look like in the end. There are all the items that we told it to pull through. So that was the creating the list. Let's go into our next scenario where we're actually going to be sending this email. So we're starting off with a Google Docs Let's Documents module, and we're uh, connecting it to the folder where our daily task document is stored. If you remember, I had our created task list scenario scheduled for 6.45 a.m. So for this one, I'm going to have it run 15 minutes after that at 7 a.m. Now we have a Google Docs Get Content of a Document module, and we're just mapping through that document ID that we received from the list documents module. And now Gmail. So you can actually put in multiple emails in here. And so I just have my automated notion at gmail.com email. My subject, I have your action items due. And we are mapping the content, the text content from our Google Doc. So all of that coding that we have set up, we are putting into this field. And then that's, that's it. Once that goes through, it'll be sent to the assigned email address. I like to think through the workflow from the start to finish. So when this is done, what next? Am I going to create a brand new document? Because I have all of those tasks within the daily task uh, list document. If I left it on its own, it'll just keep adding tasks to that document. But I don't also want to have a folder full of task lists that I'm never going to use again. So I've decided to actually delete the document. So you're just going to map through the document ID. It'll delete it. And then I have this set up that it has my original coding that we set up in, you know, in our template. So it's just going to recreate the original template. And we have the title that we, again, mapped from the original document. So basically, the workflow is going to be we're creating the document, sending the task items to that document just to store it so that we can get everything coming through all together 
And then once it's emailed, it's going to delete that document for that day and then create a new one for tomorrow. So here's what our email looks like. And I can't tell you how happy this makes me receiving this every single morning. It's just, I just feel like I'm starting the day off on my, on the right foot. And if I click on page layout here, you see it goes straight to uh, the page for this task. Let's go back to the email. And then, you know, we have the project that this is assigned to. Now, I left team meeting blank with other project assigned to it so that you can see how instead of assigning a project name, it just used the original name of the task. And then we have our priorities, the emoji came through, and then our status. So this was actually a part one. The next video will actually be a how to send an agenda from Notion to your email. And I'm actually going to be editing that right after I upload this. So if you want to be notified when that uploads, please hit subscribe. If you have any other case uses that you would like to see for this process, please comment below. If you try this out yourself and you come up with a really great setup um, for it because it's using basic HTML, I'm sure that a lot of you out there can make something really amazing and I would love to see what you come up with. So please drop a link below, a screenshot. And until next time, happy building in Notion.